Is QNM safer than Synology now? This isn't the question so many users are asking now. Because what happened? QNAP just fixed all their vulnerabilities that were discovered in pawn to own competition in Ireland. And in the meantime, Synology is very quiet. So let's have a look what happened. So two weeks ago or so, QNAP and Synology announced that they are going to be participating in this hacking contest called pawn to own This is a competition for white hat hackers. If you know what is the difference between white and black hat hackers, I can tell you. The main difference between white hat hackers and black hat hackers is that black hat hackers will find vulnerabilities and then sell that information to black market, where then other group of hackers will create a script that will target hundreds if not thousands of NASs or other devices at the same time. Because this is how they are making money, with ransomware specifically. So what these bad guys will do, they will scan the entire network for open ports, find out the targets in the internet. Yes, warning for those that have exposed ports to the internet for your NAS without the firewall, close them down right now. So these guys will send an attack on all these vulnerable devices, put a ransomware on it, and then they'll ask you to pay a ransom to decrypt the data they encrypted, because that's what normally they do. They encrypt your data and delete the original files. To get your data back, you need to pay them thousands of dollars or pounds. So white hat hackers are slightly different. They are participating to competitions like this. They are finding vulnerabilities and then they're exchanging the information about these vulnerabilities to a brand that creates this product for a certain amount of bounty. Both QNAP and Synology have bounty program, but normally you can make more money if you attend competitions like Pawn to Own. So every year each brand can decide to participate in this event. They can send their devices that they want to be hacked, potentially. So QNAP send their router and their NAS, where Synology send their B-Station NAS, their regular DSM-based NAS, their Active Protect NAS and their camera. They did not send the router. So during these attacks, they hacked every single device sent to these hackers. That was the B station, the S925, Active Protect camera, and same as QNAP, also their router and their NAS was hacked. So after hackers find out about the vulnerabilities, they give manufacturers 90 days to create a patch. Otherwise, these holes are made public. And these are all zero day attacks. This means it doesn't matter how strong your password is, hackers will get into your system if you are exposing it to the internet. This means if you're opening ports on your router. This is why you should always use VPN like Tailscale, which is for free. This is gonna keep your NAS safe. So QNAP proudly announced their participation on 21st of October. Synology also announced their participation on 24th, which was already a few days after their devices were hacked. So on day one, which was on 21st of October, they hacked every single device that Synology and QNAP provided for the testing. There was not that much information provided for the public, what sort of attacks were made, but hackers know they can do educated guess, and if they want to attack these devices, they can. And you also don't know how wide those white hats actually are for these hackers. They might still sell some information to hackers. So why I'm saying QNAP is beating Synology, and why I'm thinking QNAP is safer than Synology right now, because just a few days after, on 27 October, they released their update for their QTS operating system. And this fixed security update, so that was the first patch that they did. Snowgy, in the meantime, did nothing. And then later on, on 30th of October, QNAP also released a statement saying that their NASes were hacked, which is very good communication by a brand, letting their users know that they need to patch their systems or do some sort of security audit. And then two weeks later, not only QNAP have released pawn to own vulnerability fixes, they also released a bunch of more vulnerability updates that they found themselves. So this is quite an amazing turnaround. In two weeks, they fixed so many holes, protecting their products against these attacks that are now semi-public. And looking at Synology vulnerability page, the last record was in September. They haven't told anyone who owns a Synology that there are holes in their system. Zero day holes. So it's basically an open goal. Synology thinks that if they don't put something on this page, nobody will attack these NASs. Hackers are looking at this page and this is all public and they can figure out how to attack these Synologies. So again, if you're a user, 
close your open ports and put your NAS behind VPN if you need remote access. I also recommend following CVE page. If you have QNAP, search QNAP, otherwise Synology, and watch out for any vulnerabilities. They will be publicized on this page. Don't trust Synology and QNAP advisory pages. It can be too late already. So if you're wondering what vulnerabilities QNAP have fixed today, the first one is Hyper Data Protector. You will need to update from 2.2 version to 2.241. Then another vulnerability is Hyper Backup Sync. HBS3, that was also a vulnerability from Pond on two weeks ago. Then multiple vulnerabilities in QTS and QTS Hero. And then vulnerability in Malware Remover. And then a few other vulnerabilities that were not exposed in Pond on contest, which is QU Maggie, then QU Log Center, QSync Central, Notification Center, File Station 5, Download Station, and another patch in QU Maggie. Some of you may say, QNAP has more vulnerabilities compared to Synology. And that is true. I think statistically QNAP do have more security issues. But you need to remember that most important thing is not which company, which manufacturer has less vulnerabilities and less often. The most important thing is which manufacturer can fix their security issues quicker. Because hackers only need one vulnerability. There's no difference. There's one or is there 10 vulnerabilities? Hackers will just go for one. And in this case, QNAP have fixed all their vulnerabilities, where Synology, after two weeks, have not even spoken about their vulnerabilities. So make your decision and keep yourself safe behind the VPN. I hope this video was helping you in any way to understand the security issues. Have an amazing day and see you next time.